In this module, we'll move on to actually creating our first Terraform file now. And to begin with, we just need to cover authenticating Terraform with Azure. So we've got a couple of quick lectures. What is a service principle? Overview of service principles and how they work. And then we will actually do a demonstration where we will create that service principle, authenticate with Azure, and create a resource group using Terraform in Azure, much like you saw in the previous demo. But let's make sure you can authenticate and actually carry out those steps. Well, first of all, what is a service principle? Well, an Azure service principle is a security identity used by user-created apps, services, and other automation tools to access specific Azure resources. Think of it like a fake user account that you create that you want Terraform to be able to use to authenticate against Azure. Now, the key is only giving service principles the permissions they need in order to do the work you want them to do. Now, obviously, Terraform is going to need some fairly good permissions. You know, in fact, we'll use the contributor role here for the subscription because it's going to touch a whole number of things. But if we didn't want people to be allowed to create certain types of resources, we could use a custom role and assign it, you know, to the application identity we create in Azure. An overview of service principles really looks like this. Well, user with permissions to create an app in Azure AD, first of all, goes in to Azure AD and creates that application registration. They create a key, and then they assign an application to the role. Then a service, for example, Terraform, can simply log in as the application, execute tasks, deploy VMs, etc. So the principle has to be created first of all by a user with permissions to create service principles. We'll get that service principle and then we'll plug it into Terraform and then we will use it from then on out to go in, you know, logging in as the application to execute our various tasks. It is important then to obviously manage, you know, these application registrations and service principles that you create because if you just give these out and, you know, they, they are critical, you know, elements from an authentication standpoint, you know, big security risk, make sure you, you manage those appropriately. And you will see in the demonstration that I actually, you know, I don't, I don't want my service principle just going out on GitHub. So I put a fake file out there for everyone to see what we've done, but I manage and tightly control the service principle that I'm going to use.